Liberal Democrats will declare an emergency for nature, planting 36 million trees with half as native species. We will rewild public land. On the climate, we will make one million homes low cost and low carbon. We will use hydrogen technologies to heat homes and power public transport. We will open more railway lines and install a network of charging points. There's no doubt the climate emergency has to be the focus of our attention going forward. Scottish Conservatives want to see us tackling that emergency while also working with business to provide more green jobs. We want to introduce a circular economy bill to make it easier for people to recycle and reuse. And we'd also introduce a nature bill to protect one in nine species in Scotland that's under threat of extinction, extend the national parks in Scotland by creating a third one in Galloway, introducing more tree planting and so much more. This is an ambitious plan to focus on the climate emergency while also building jobs here in Scotland. From the fires in the Amazon to Australia, the ice caps visibly melting, to the severe flash flooding closer to home, the breakdown of our climate is clearly visible. Let's be clear, the climate science gives us less than 10 years before this becomes irreversible. Absolutely everything we do must be focused on securing our survival, starting with the transition from oil and gas now. What's more, one in nine species in Scotland is under threat already. We need to urgently restore Scotland's environment to capture carbon and halt the alarming declines in nature. Scottish Greens would restore our forests and peatlands as a matter of urgency, expand protected areas and create new national parks. We're asking you to vote like your future depends on it. It's hugely important that as we recover from the pandemic, we don't forget that we are also facing a climate crisis. A big part of that will be investing £1.6 billion to change the way we heat our homes and buildings to reduce carbon emissions. We'll invest in zero emission buses and electrify our railways to transform our transport system. By 2030, we'll phase out petrol and diesel vehicles and we'll act to cut car kilometres by 20%. We'll invest more in cycling, including providing free bikes for young people who can't afford them. Importantly, we'll also make sure that Scotland's transition to becoming a net zero nation is a just transition making sure that people and communities are not left behind as jobs and industries change, but are able to benefit from new opportunities coming from the low carbon economy. Well, well, we know we only have nine years to confront the climate emergency. We can't afford to wait. And we have a huge opportunity with COP26 in November. Let's come through that and have the Glasgow Agreement the moment where the world starts taking seriously uh, the issue of climate change and starts taking the necessary action. What we would do here is retrofit every home so it's at least energy efficient grade C uh, by 2030, make sure there are charging units across the country so we can get more people into electric vehicles, have more free public transport, so one big public transport to public ownership, uh, and then also give free transport so we can have more routes, more diverse routes, and people using public transport rather than uh, carbon emitting uh, vehicles. That's the kind of bold ambition we need if we are to confront the climate emergency.